if we start with a face-to-face -face environment, right, we imagine that students are moved through various um, offices on a campus that would, might help orient them to each of those things. They might have a face-to-face -face campus orientation. We might be able to point to a library building. We might um, have um, a particular set of, you know, sort of documentations in place that help students navigate um, services for students with identified disabilities and all of that. None of that exists in the online world um, unless we make concerted, deliberative efforts to help students um, find those resources. And if the courses are, are um, the major means by which students attach to the campus culture and to the campus community, having those sources and resources centralized for students really helps them to remind, you know, to remember what happens if they run into problems, if they have writing issues, where's the online writing center, where are the tutors, um, how can they access a professor's maybe office hours, virtual office hours, and so on and so forth. So in my courses, the plagiarism policy is actually very clearly written, and it's framed as an opportunity for students to connect with online um, tutors and with me. Um, I often scaffold my assignments, so students have an opportunity to write a little bit and then get some feedback and write a little bit more. And if I see um, any evidence of uh, students using uh, work to which they, you know, for which they've not provided citations, I work with them at, in that moment. But the, this, you know, the academic dishonesty policy is right there, so they can see it. And the syllabi are contracts, right? They're contracts between faculty and students, so we all have a framework within which we're working for um, the expectations of the course. It's right in the learning contract. It says, um, you know, uh, as a as a college, as a you know member of the State University of New York family, we value um, academic honesty. Right? We frame it positively. Not we will punish you for academic dishonesty, um, and we. Um, um, have some examples of what that might mean. Um, I then do announcements. I'm, I think I overly announced my online courses, but I do anyway. And one of the um, one of the announcements I make is about the availability of writing center tutors, and I frame it again as developmental and give some examples, much like the one I just gave to you. Right. So um, many of the students we have have not been in school for a long time. They're returning adult students. So it's new, the internet is new, the whole, um, the, the business of how to um, uh, reference an online source is all new. So again, to miss the opportunity to make that a teaching moment rather than, you know, bad student, bad student, um, it's all there. I tend to take a very developmental approach. I was a writing center tutor in, I'm like apologizing word, I'm a writing center tutor in graduate school. So if I see students are, um, have, um, uh, issues of academic sort of you know questionable academic skills I assume it's actually an issue of writing competence and skill and not um, um, a again a deliberative attempt to cheat so I work with them on that level first and I refer them to our online writing tutor which and we have a fairly um, robust set of resources at my home campus and in that way students can learn how to integrate incorporate readings, materials, and resources into their writing without feeling like they either have to be the expert, they learn to, you know, sort of document and then form their own assertions and frame their assertions with appropriate, germane, relevant references to, to other people's writings, right? So I, I tend to make it more developmental than punitive. So on the one hand, sometimes we forget there isn't a physical environment. On the other hand, sometimes we're overly sensitive to the fact that there isn't a physical environment. So we put everything in the online syllabus. We put everything. And um, with Open SUNY, we talk a lot about just-in-time information, right? So to the question about where is the information about plagiarism, yes, it certainly should be and could be in the learning contract or the syllabus, but it also could be a well-timed announcement prior to the first the submission of a first writing assignment, right? It could also be um, in a discussion board. It could also be, um, you know, elsewhere in the course that the students are reminded of it when the context is actually appropriate, as opposed to just sort of being blah, blah, blah at the beginning of the course. M again, much like the face-to-face -face world.